Thank you for being patient, Junksters. We understand you are eager for us to reveal your results. After careful observation of your performance and a thorough discussion, we have now decided your first roles and ranks within the herd. Romulus, your high level of intellect shows through your excellent problem-solving skills, not to mention your ability of enhanced speed and agility. So, you have received a distinction. We have decided you are to serve as the honourable role of warrior status. This means you will carry out duties directly from leader figures such as Odin and myself. Thank you, sir. It's an honour. Max, you're still in need of development with regards to your powers. This will come with time and practice. However, your affinity with shadows and the night are highly beneficial for improving security and safety within the heart. You've received a merit and will serve as a mage. You will also have the opportunity to train and improve your biotic abilities. Thank you, sir. It's an honor. Eros, your powers are of a high standard even though you struggle to control it. With further training, your ability could be greatly enhanced. However, your hot temperament and back chat has cost you dearly. You have not received your status and remain an apprentice. Take this as a warning to control that temperament of yours. You'll serve as a full watcher for now. If you prove yourself to be able to deal with this position without fuss, aggression or complaint, then we will consider raising your status to a warrior. Uh, I mean, thank you for this opportunity. I'll try not to let you down. We understand that the ability to manipulate fire can be a challenge to understand and control, but we do expect you to actually try and practice. But I have been practicing! I swear! I've been working really hard! I, I just can't do it! That's not what I've been told by Cleomenes. Darn it! I forgot about Cleo's dang telepathic powers. Uh, I bet he saw right through me. Oh great! Now I've lied again too! Uh, just digging myself in a deeper hole. Lying is such a cowardly thing. I am truly disappointed in you. We were going to offer you another chance to redeem yourself, like Eros. But now, I'm not so sure you even deserve that. Oh, please! Please give me another chance! I screwed this up big time! I'm so sorry! I was ashamed to admit it, so I lied. Ah, uh, the truth is... I need help. I'm afraid to use my powers properly, because, well, I can't control them well. Fire is so dangerous. I'm afraid I'll hurt somebody, or, you know, destroy delicate land or whatever. Uh, I just need help! Now, that's more like it. One more chance. Don't screw this one up. You will be a full watcher with Eros for now. You remain an apprentice and we'll organize some personal training for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh, I, I promise I won't let you down. Huh? Youngsters, you are dismissed. Please head back to the hood. Go on now, off you go. I hope Isis is alright. She looked a little shaken. Blah. I hope they fail her. Uh, wait, since, since when have you cared about Isis? Uh, no, um, I just wondered where she ran off to, that's all. You better not have gotten soft. Yo, Eros! <sighs> Looks like we better get close since we're gonna be together for quite some time. Uh, hopefully you can restrain yourself around the little itty bitty folies. Mars, back off. I'm not in the mood for your irritating banter. Aw, oh, but come on. You're my buddy now. C come on, buddy. We can we can slack off together. Do you think that for one sec, one second, that I'm going to let you screw up my chances to prove myself worthy? Well, look, you've already screwed your chances if you can't even keep calm in a normal cult-to-cult -cult talk. Mars, you mock me and you're dead. <laughs> No, Eros! He's, he's not worth it! I'm so sorry, Eros. He doesn't mean it. <laughs> Did you see the look?
look on Iris' face. I mean... Mars, what on earth are you playing at? Huh? Uh, hi Isis. Are you alright? Uh... I've been through a, a pretty strange experience, but... Oh, oh, never mind. That's, that's a long story. Anyway, I'm fortunate enough to have passed. I guess they know I'll prove myself, eventually. That's great! So are you a warrior or a mage? Oh, uh, they haven't quite decided that yet. I guess they want to wait and see, you know, how I use my metamorphic ability in challenging situations. Besides, I'm a scout now, so I get to patrol the borders, you know, keep the riffraff and rogues at bay. <laughs> I can't think of a better horse for the job. Oh, I'm fine. You know, just stand you over here. Uh, uh, thanks for your concern. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just, just blank me. Leave me out of this conversation. No, I don't exist. Mars, what's your problem? Well, how did you pass when you didn't even freaking do anything? You should still be an apprentice with me and Eros. Mars. But, uh, you, you know how hard I worked. <laughs> Who are you kidding? They only passed you because you, like, blinked your little eyelashes at them or something. Mars! How could you insinuate such a... Uh, there's no point arguing here. I've had enough trauma for today. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm, I'm just messing around. Were you absolutely oblivious to how upset she was? And since when do you care about Isis? Since when did you become so selfish? What? Can't a cold have a, you know, a little fun? Mars, you're my friend, but you never listen. But I... You know what? Forget it. I'm sick of hearing excuses. You can head back to the herd on your own. Wait, where are you going? Don't try and follow me. But... I'm your best friend. Mars, I need to be away from you. And you need to think about what you've done. You are responsible for your actions. Grow up. Fine, you know what? Just go. See how much I care. <sighs> but... I don't want to grow up. Kronos, Odin, may I request a formal discussion with you regarding some issues that are of immediate concern? By all means. Something is out of balance. What do you mean, out of balance? I fear we are all in grave danger. The Dark One is rising. Preposterous! How can you be sure? No, I refuse to listen to this nonsense. Socrates, you are an outcast, a rogue. I accepted you into my herd, I allow you to shelter with us, share our food and our security, and you repay me by making up wild accusations that could send my herd into sheer panic. No, I don't trust you. The truth threatens you, Odin, and I'm not just talking about this situation. Odin? I... I... I have no idea what he's talking about. Perhaps, perhaps you're a spy for the rogue horses, huh? Well, I'll accept it no longer. I hereby banish you from the Celestial Heart. Odin, is this really necessary? He's meddling in personal affairs. But you just claimed that you had no idea what Socrates was... Oh, so you're siding with the traitor now? Regardless, I must now attend to my heart like a loyal leader should. <laughs> He's too proud to back down. The truth mortifies him. So the old prophecy is true? Yes. Erebus will rise again. Tell me everything you know. The Renaissance Hood are evidently the superlative choice Due to their keen sense to become more advanced, their thirst for knowledge, and desire to prove themselves worthy. 
I have chosen wisely. As soon as I can manipulate Lowry, everything will fall into place. But time is fleeting. I must act soon if I am to regain my powers. Morden holds the key. Hmm. Possible solution would be to add Essence of Foxglove? No, would potentially cause heart rate to exceed maximum output. Not an option, could be disastrous. However, under controlled aseptic test conditions, perhaps would arrive at a new conclusion. Reminds me, I must collect some aloe for Nemesis's burns. Must collect more herbs in general. Ah, hello Persephone, sneaking up on me. Sneaking? Me? Oh, of course not. Oh, Morden. I was simply admiring you. Your method of conveying wording suggests you are trying to seduce me, yet your stance suggests that you oppose me. Tell me, why is it that you can suddenly block Aristotle from exploring your thoughts? Oh, confound it. I had not considered the fact that Morden is of course the medicine horse. Attraction is of interest to him. I'm a fool. You look dumbfounded. Did your calculations fail you? Uh, no. I've just been told to check up on the progress of the, of the enhancement elixir you're working on. I share information with our leader and our leader alone. Well, you should better start following your leader's instructions then, because Lowry sent me to... Has our leader suddenly forgotten his own rules? Hmm, suspicious. Morden. Persephone? Wait, no. Morden! Not Persephone. Enough! Now stay still while I drain your energy. Even in this frail foreign body, with a fraction of my power restored. <laughs> I can still overpower a great medicine horse. You have your intelligence, Morden, but your physical strength dwindles. Oh, but don't worry, I won't kill you. I have something much greater in store for you, Morden. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find that restoration potion you created many years ago, and of course, hid it from the herd. Afraid it would be used for evil. <laughs> How ironic. Loki. Is something bothering you? I feel different. I just don't fit in. I try, but I'm just different. I'm sorry. I haven't always been there for you, Loki. You're there for Neptune. Loki, will you promise me something? Yeah? Promise me you'll always be good. Why? I fear what is to come. Something on your mind, father? It's nothing, Carl. Ever try to talk to her? Sometimes. Does she ever answer back? No. She never answers me either. 